Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So we're going to continue working on our cards here and then I, because I don't think this is going to take an hour to do. So once we're done with this, we'll start working on the journal so I can get that finished. Because once I get that finished, then I can start working on my design team project and so on and so forth. My list of projects is kind of crazy right now. But then again, when is it not? I mean, we always have like a bajillion different projects going on at once. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up and I'm just gonna use these two rice paper and then I think we're gonna go with napkins after this one. Um, I wanna see how much of this I can put on one. Nope, that's not gonna work. That will though. Let's see. Not really. I might only be able to do one and then save this strip for something. I don't know. But, or we can do it like this and then save this part. Because we can probably do. No, only three. Yeah, we'll just do this and save this part. Okay, we'll do that. All right. Um, so, uh, my husband is actually on the way to the grocery store. Normally we go together, but um, I haven't really been feeling well. Like, my tummy is not liking me lately. So, um, I think I'm just going to glue stick these, actually. And so, I took some ibuprofen so hopefully that'll help um, but he decided to go without me this time because normally we go every Sunday but um, like I said I didn't really feel well this weekend this past weekend so he decided to go today I can see this better actually on this side. Wait, do you want to do it? Yeah, I think we're doing it this way. Okay. There we go. And see, also the thing with glow stick is um, you don't necessarily have to wait for it to dry. So that's good. And hopefully my kids aren't being too, too loud in the background. I got one of them, I think, is putting away the dishes out of the dishwasher. But they're being... I can hear them loudly, but I don't know that you guys can. Hopefully you cannot. Uh, normally they're very good about being, you know, quiet and respectful about the fact that I've got the camera turned on. Uh, but I don't know, I don't know that they're necessarily accustomed or reaccustomed with me doing videos again, because as you well know, I have taken a small hiatus and I am back in the game again. I'm excited. I'm excited to be back and doing videos again. I'm excited to be talking to you guys again. Excited. I don't know. I'm just, I feel better. You know, I just, I feel like I'm in a better place. Mentally, physically, I just feel better. And I don't know if it's just a physical change in me or what, but it's pretty amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Doop, doop. I can probably zoom you guys back in, actually. And I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this um, page in my folder as is instead of cutting it up because that's a pretty large chunk still. So let's go ahead and grab the folder here. And I think I only had one of these. I do have more coming, I believe. Or no. I do have one more. Yeah. I do. 
you have one more. So we're just going to pop that in there. I'm just going to pop it in here. Because it's not quite big enough to do another row of cards. Um, oh yeah. And then, let's see, what do we got on this one? If we do... If we do, no, nope, that's not going to work. Hmm, we may not be able to do the blue with the little ones. Because the thing is, is I want to try to make it effective, you know, efficient rather. So I don't think we're going to use the blue ones. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this away. Um, oh, we didn't even use any of the traditional Christmas. Let's use one of the traditional Christmas because... We're just making bases right now. We're not necessarily doing them for any particular project. So, and I'll reorganize these because I have multiples of some of them. And um, I like to put the, put the multiples together, you know. So, I'll reorganize that back off camera. I won't waste that time. Wait, wait a second. All right, so... Let's go ahead and do this one because I do want to do a Christmas journal, like a traditional, um, it'll probably have more of a vintagey feel to it, but more traditional colors, you know, and I think that'll be a lot of fun. So we're not going to use pink. Okay. Those are the only two pink ones left. So we'll do a couple of those. All right, yeah, we'll just see what we got going on over here. Um, all right, I don't know why I tore this off my book. I like my book. All right, and we want to do you want this side? Kind of like it though. And then if we do that. Then we can do that. Or We can do that and then leave the Christmas greeting to be saved. I think we'll do it that way. Yep, let's do it that way. Where's my thing? Found it. Whoa. So what have you guys been up to? Have you finished a project? Have you started a project? I know there's lots of projects and such going on lately. I know I've got like a bajillion working. It's crazy though because like I'll see something and whether I am, you know, scouring vendors and such for products or whatever or I'll see um, someone else doing something or whatever and then I'll be like inspired to try to do, do it myself you know so then I've got surprise another project to do so I've always got projects going on it seems like which is a good thing I think I think it's a good thing I think with uh, with this whole I feel good mentality. I feel more encouraged and motivated to do, you know, my, my crafties because I'm not really worried anymore about if Joe Schmo or whatever is going to like what I'm doing because it's not whether they like what I'm doing. It's whether I like what I'm doing. And if I like what I'm doing, there will be someone out there in the world that will appreciate and like what I'm doing, you know? So I think it's just all about your perspective on things. 
I think if you have a good perspective, then you don't need that recognition from other people. I mean, sure, it's nice to have, but it's not needed. If you know that you do a good job with whatever it is you're doing, you don't need validation from others. You don't need someone to say, oh my gosh, your journal is so awesome, I have to buy it. You don't need that. Because someone out there will think that and someone out there will buy your things. If you sell them, I mean. And if you just make them for appreciation, there will be people that appreciate your stuff. And I just, I got stuck in a rut, you know? I got so used to just listening to other people. And whether it was people that, you know, were giving me constructive feedback. Or whether it was people, you know, just being mean. <laughs> like, there are people out there that are just mean. For the sake of being mean. And I just, I got stuck in a rut. And I think it can happen to all of us, really. Anybody. It can happen to anybody. And I think that, yeah, there's going to be mean people out there. There's always going to be mean people out there. Whether they're mean just to be mean, or if they're mean in a nice kind of way. And you probably know what I mean by that. Um, it's like they kind of act like they're being nice, but... In reality, they're being quite nasty. Yeah. I have family members that are really good at doing that. But I've just let it go. You know, like the song says, let it go. That's not how they say it. They sing it in a very pretty voice. But you know what I mean. So we only have a little bit left, guys. Crazy, right? Oh my gosh, that is so... So stinking cool. I love it. Okay. So. We're going to put this in our little scrap folder. Again, I don't know if I can fold it or not, but I'm going to. Because I imagine, I'm not going to crease it, but I imagine that it's not too different than napkins. Where, did I just seal? I'm pretty sure I just closed that. I did. <laughs> Ding dong. Okay. <clears throat> so. That's my little scraps. Yay! So excited. Alright. So. Anyway. Point of my story is. Be happy with who you are. I think that is very, very important. And how you look at things is how things will be. Because there is, I don't know the exact numbers, but it's a statistic that I've heard many times in my life. And like I said, I don't know the exact number, so the exact number is probably not right. But it's like 98% of truth or 98% of reality is perception. And they're right. I don't know, like I said, what the exact number is. But the point is, is how you see things is how they are. Like your truth is not the same as my truth, if that makes sense. I might see Joe Schmo as being very rude and arrogant and, you know, not very nice. And then, you know, someone else comes by and says, oh, well, they're really nice. They're just trying to be, you know, helpful. Okay, that, that is true for you. But for me, it's not helpful because having negativity and my life is not helpful for me. And that doesn't mean that I can't take criticism. The way you say things and the way you approach a situation 
means everything. I like to use the example of Hitler, actually, because Hitler was a very evil man. But the way he approached the situation and the way he got millions of people to follow his like lunatic ideas was because of his approach. How he worded things. He was a great speaker. And I actually use that example a lot with my kids. It's like you can, you can say things to people without being demeaning or demoralizing. And truth be said, you can also interpret things without being negative as well. And that's something else I've learned how to do is whenever someone says something to you, don't necessarily take it as being, you know, nasty or negative. Take it as a learning experience. Either one, they're legitimately trying to help you or you know if that's the only thing they seem to be able to say to you is what you're doing wrong maybe you might want to consider getting your advice from someone else <laughs> but it's all a learning experience and that's something I have learned over the past month or so is how you receive things is just as important as how things are. You know? You know what I mean? I swear these videos have become like podcast while crafting. <laughs> That's what I feel like. Oh, it's funny, but I enjoy talking to you guys and I enjoy talking about personal things. And I know the vast majority of people enjoy hearing that, you know, someone else has, you know, their issues. They have self-confidence issues or they have issues of, you know, people being bullies to them or, you know, I don't know. It's, it's nice to hear sometimes that you're not alone in how you think. If that makes sense. And I think that's important because we're not alone. Even when you're alone, you're still not alone. You've always got someone out there looking out for you, whether you know it or not. Just remember that and be happy. I think it's important to be happy. I'm happy. I'm very happy actually. And my husband, oh my gosh. Oh, I love my husband. He is going on this journey with me and he, he gets to sit there and listen to me while I explain to him my lessons for the day. <laughs> And I just get so excited because I've learned something new and I'm just like, oh my God, oh my gosh. And he's just, he just sits there and he just listens and he's just like, all right, what did we learn today? <laughs> like, he's amazing. Like, you guys, you guys know my husband. He's been on here before. Um, I did, I did remove my live streams. Um... I know that a couple of you have noticed that and some of you probably don't care and um, sorry I'm rounding my thing oh my gosh I watched a video um, yesterday of Gail and in one of her Etsy shares they sent along um, a corner rounder punch because the one that she has is like really old back from creative memories or whatever anyway she's just like oh my gosh everything I make is gonna have rounded corners now and I just thought that was so funny because I'm sitting here rounding my corners <laughs> oh gosh anyway um, so I deleted the live streams uh, well I didn't delete them I just took them at, I just took them off of public view and basically the reason that I did that was 
not because I was trying to hide anything. Um, cause I know some people have this mentality that if you remove a video or a stream that you're trying to hide something, I'm not trying to hide anything. Um, but what I am trying to do is go back to my roots. And what I mean by that is I started my YouTube channel four years ago and I just started by talking to you guys. I was very real very just me, you know, um, I was filtered as I am now again in the sense of, you know, I watch what I say because there are people that watch this show that, you know, would get offended by certain things. So I just watch what I say, but I'm like that in real life. When I'm around other people and, you know, they have a tendency of being more, I guess, unfiltered, then I become unfiltered. And so I just, I don't want to do that and I don't want to be like that. So I decided to go back to my roots and I wanted to go back to, oh, I missed one. I wanted to go back to being respectful and, you know, I wanted to be a channel that anyone could watch, whether it's, you know, grandparents watching with their grandkids or whether it's, you know, a newbie who doesn't know how to, you know, do crafts very well or doesn't know how to do this, that, or another, like whatever the thing is, I just, I wanted to go back, you know? All right, so I think these are really, really cute. And these are, like I said, the traditional ones. Oh my gosh, I love these. And then these are the more shabby ones. Oh, and keep in mind guys, these are not, these are not all for one journal. These are just, they're bases for multiple things. All right, so let's grab some napkins. I have this folder of napkins here. This is, this is only a very, 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 very small portion of my napkins. Um, if you go to my Etsy shop, you'll actually see that I have quite a few variety of napkins. Um, that's actually one of the favorites in the shop are the napkins. So here's some autumn. We could do some autumn. I do plan on doing, um, some autumn ephemera. I'm not sure if I'm going to make an autumn journal or not, but I think it would be really fun. And I did just make a full kit. Um, so I think I have... 10 of those left? No, I have eight of those left. Anyway, I've got some napkins that I got um, from, from Eve. She sent them to me. I think that's her inventory tag. Yeah, I think that's her inventory tag, how she keeps them inventory. Oh, that'll be pretty, but it's broken up. So it's a little small, but that's cool. Um, those are pretty neat. I found those. Uh, I don't remember where I found those, but I found them last year. But I think those would be fun. And let's see. Those are some freebies that I got. Did I pull the mushroom? I did. Okay. Yeah, let's just play with those. I think that's more than enough. You have to wait. What? Okay. Mm hmm. Be back right here. Yeah, yes. Okay. So I really like this one. This one is very pretty. Ooh, that is very pretty too. I believe these are on her shop. I actually want to look and see, you know, being that I am a design team for her, I should probably know 
if she has these on her shop or not. Um, let me go and check. And I need to put her back at the top of my list. Oh, and if you guys wonder how you can move people to the top of your uh, favorites list on Etsy, if you unheart them and then reheart them, they'll move to the top of your list. Like that's what I just did for Eve, uh, for the snippet shop. And um, that one's a little dark. That's pretty, look at that one. You know, I bet those would be really cute for like a tea journal, like a tea time. That's cool. All right, that's some, that's an idea. I think I might do that. And you know something else that I've learned um, through watching other people, mainly Gail, Miss Gail, is there are many people that have similar ideas and it's okay to do something that you've seen from other people because no matter what you do it's going to be different because unless you have exactly exactly the same materials and you do exactly the same exact like it's it's going to be different okay so this one here is um not this one this one is part of her um uh vintage flowers is what it's called it's decoupage napkins eight piece so you'll get four different napkins but this one's upside down but that's what this one is in and then this one is um Let's look in the napkins instead of the whole shop. Um, this one, I'm not sure if she has this one. Yeah, I'm not seeing this one. She may not have any more. something different on the back nope yeah I don't see this one anymore well that's a bummer but this one is vintage flowers number 36 and like I said you'll get one of the napkins and then you'll get um, one of the different the other ones all right so I definitely want to use this one because I think that will be really pretty so let's do that look up of my tape So I've also gotten to where I keep tape on my desk. Like I have a tape dispenser and I actually use it a lot. A lot more than I thought I would. Not necessarily in my crafting, more on the business side. But I use tape a lot. So it's really handy to have on, you know, I should probably keep these because I wanna try that whole, uh, fabric paper thing that Miss Gail has because I've never done that before. I've always just lined the fabric with paper. Like I've used um, heat and bond and uh, that's how Daisy taught us how to do it. And yeah, that's how I've done it. So I don't know if this is going to work with glue stick, but we're going to give it a whirl. Because it's pretty good glue stick. It's not like, you know, the glue stick that comes in packs of, um, like when you buy something and it happens to have a glue stick in it and it's really bad glue stick. Yeah, it's not like that. And you know, I'm sure that glue stick is good for something, but just not necessarily. Um, Go with this flower here. Come here, flower. Oh, that is so pretty. 
yeah, I think the glue stick works just fine. Now, of course, I don't have that um, thing on top. The, um, what you call it? The coat, the clear coat. And you could put it on there. But, again, like I've said a few times, we're just looking at creating bases at the moment. So we're just going to leave that. And I really want this right here. I don't know. You could do it that way. Do it right there on the... I think that would be really cute. Yep, we're going to do that. Y'all see? Yeah, y'all can see. Alright. So what is your favorite glue? Is it a wet glue? Is it a glue stick? Is it a tape? Hot glue? Could be hot glue. Or are you like me and you use different adhesives for different things? Because just on my table right here, like you can't see over here, um, let's see if I can, yeah, just right here, I have my glue stick, I have my Phenobar, I have my hot glue, uh, can we go up even further? Nope. And then I have my Fabri-Tac. Just right here I have four glues. And then um, behind me, at my disposal, I have my glue gun. My tape gun, I mean. Because I do use my tape gun a lot, actually. Alright, now let's put you back. Alright. I actually use my tape gun more when I am doing... Um, photo albums. I don't know why. I'm just always done them with the... Isn't that pretty? I love that. And this is just still from the same napkin. So we're going to be able to get that little piece right there. Is that white enough? It is, it is. And I think the key with the glue stick and napkins is making sure that you have enough, but not too much. And that's, I think, the case with any glue, is you don't want too much glue, because if you have too much glue, you can tear the napkin from the moisture. Because now we're going to flip it over, and we're going to smooth it out a little bit. We're going to get rid of those bumpies, because I don't like the bumpies. And then we're gonna move to a different napkin. Okay. Isn't that cute? I love that. Um, yeah, let's move to a different napkin. So we're gonna save this because that is a lot of a beautiful napkin. So let's go to, actually I really wanna do this fall one. Uh, again, we can't do the pink ones per se on fall. That might look a little silly. Oops. I guess it would help if I actually grabbed the tissue. Let go of my finger. Let go. Well, it might actually take us an hour to do this. I didn't think it was going to take that long. But... That's okay, because we will get to the journal. We will. It just might be tomorrow. Um, but that's okay. Alright, so there's one. 
Because I got none but sign, baby. <laughs> Alright. So, set that aside. And then we're going to do a couple of these. I really want that autumn right there. But I really want these people too. Like there's a cute little couple right here. I want that and I want that autumn. Ooh, I could do that. And I could save that portion. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Bloop. I think I finally got the camera like situated to where you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm, you know, in frame and I'm not doing stuff out of frame unless it's in my lap because it's too big to be on my desk. Um, but yeah, y'all have to let me know. And the sound, oh my gosh, I turned the camera on for the first time in like forever and the sound was so quiet and we couldn't figure out why but we did get it working it's still a little quiet so I'm sure you guys have noticed that you might have had to turn me up depending on you know your preference of volume because some people don't even listen like they just turn the sound off completely and um, just watch and some people are backwards. Some people don't watch necessarily what we're doing, but they listen. See, I'm that person. Um, I listen to the videos a lot of times because a lot of times I'm working, you know, I'm working on something. We're going to save these pieces because we actually need the scraps to make that, um, um, that fabric paper that I want to try. So you need scraps of, um, tissue or the, the backings of the napkins as well as, um, you know, napkins themselves. And it's a great way to use old napkins, especially like if you get napkins in the mail or something as like a free gift with purchase and they're not exactly your style. Like I've gotten that before. Like I have a few napkins that I'm like, oh, what do I do with this? Cause I don't know. Um, like short of using it to blow your nose. I have no idea what to do with it, you know? So that's one of the reasons that I want to try this, um, this fabric paper that she's got. And she's got several videos on how to do it, which I think is really cool. Bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, I need to make some more flowers because uh, those sold out almost immediately. I think I might have a tiny bit left. Um... But I make, um, kind of like this, like I make little flowers to go on top of ephemera or embellishments and, uh, yeah, I need to make more. Uh, I think I might have like, I know at least two of my sets have sold out and, um, I just put more on there and I don't think they're, they're sold out yet. One of them, there's only one left. One of the sets, there's only one set left. I do know that. Um, let's see. I can put you this way. Smooth out the bumpies.
but yeah. So, uh, I was kind of funny because I got an order the other day and it was just like, Oh my gosh, I've missed you. I'm so glad you, I saw you post. I completely forgot about your shop. And I'm like, you know, that's awesome. Because I'm so glad I'm back too. <laughs> and it was, it was just really cool. And it was nice though, because like I said, in you know, the first video that I did coming back, I was just like, you know, not a lot of the my, like the journal, uh, the journal, the journey of crafting community is, you know, on both platforms, YouTube, as well as Etsy. Most of them, it's either or. And it's just, it's really nice to see that, you know, it's starting to merge together, which is what I wanted. You know, I wanted my Etsy people to come and to my YouTube world and I wanted my YouTube people to come into my Etsy world like I don't know I think it was I just think it's really cool I am super excited and I don't know I just can't wait to keep making stuff for you guys because that's just what I want to do I just want to make stuff and sell stuff for you guys and I think I just I had to get over listening to other people that was like my biggest, my biggest downfall was trying to listen to other people. Or not trying to listen to other people, but listening to other people instead of just doing me. And now that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing me, doing what I want to do. And that's it. There is a friend of mine. Her name is Missy. Um, not, not Frank's. <laughs> a different one. And uh, she, uh, her channel used to be called Do What You Love. And she has since um, changed her channel around a little bit to mimic what she wants to do which is journal not junk journal but um just journaling in general and um she is the one that got me into youtube to begin with a long time ago and uh she, her mantra was always do what you love and that's what inspired me to be able to do YouTube to begin with and I'm just really grateful to be able to go back to go back to that you know I really love how easy these are going on just with glue stick it's pretty amazing. Every once in a while I miss a teeny, teeny, tiny corner. I have to go back. But for the most part, these things are looking pretty snazzy, don't you think? Okay, so we only have four left. I'm going to do this one here because I really like that leaf. And then we'll open up another one for the last, yeah, the last three. And then we'll see what we can do with this book. might have to get one of those post-its that, uh, cause someone asked Miss Gail once, you know, how do you, um, how do you keep track of, because she records ahead, right? And they're just like, how do you keep track of what day is what? Because she does things like, um, like Scrappy Saturday, Mixed Media Monday, stuff like that. 
And with her recording ahead, they're just like, well, how do you keep track of that? And she, she, she told us she has a little post-it with the days. And as she, you know, records for a specific day, she marks it off. So the next day is, you know, the next day. Um, so I think I'm going to have to try that because I am recording ahead because I know there's going to be days where I'm either going to only be able to do one video or I'm not going to be able to do any videos. So I want to make sure that you guys have content because I don't want to disappear on you guys again. And with the mentality that I have right now, I just don't see that happening. Oops. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with these until I use them because I don't really have space. Like, my craft supplies have exploded. <laughs> They're in my office. They're in my entryway to my house. They're in my, clo my coat closet, the one that's right beside my front door. They're in the entryway into my office. They're in the hallway um, leading into my kitchen. They're not in my kitchen anymore. Thank goodness. Um, okay. I was just making sure none of these were pink, and they're not. And they're, let's see. Um, they're in my living room. They're in the sitting room that's, like, right beside the living room. They are in our guest bathroom uh, and my garage. Now, I don't have a super tiny house, but I don't have a ginormous house either. So it's not like I'm filling up some 12,000 square foot house with art supplies. I would probably need an intervention if that were the case. Um, but... So my thought with this is to get some nice, good fall images. And I like bugs, so we're getting the bugs. There we go. See, that's really cool. I'm sure Eve would like this one. She likes beetles. Now, she might actually already have these particular napkins. They did come from Europe. All right. Let's see. You want to do that little mushroom right there. I was actually pretty happy with this particular shipment. Um, I mean, it was pretty pricey for the shipping because it was, you know, it was a larger order. Because I don't, I don't typically order like one or two things from Europe because it's a waste of money for me for shipping. Because when you're in Europe to ship to the U.S., it's actually cheaper to go with a bigger package than to send the same amount of things in six small packages. So, it's more cost effective. For me. Because I buy big quantities anyway, so I can have things to put on the shop. Like these napkins, they will be on the shop. They're not at the moment. Um, I th the only place that you can get these right now in my shop are, um, they are part of the fall loaded, uh, bag kit. There's like over 70 items in that kit. It is massive. All right. 
and then let's see. We could probably do that. That word will be upside down, but we do the bugs again. Or we could just do that whole thing. I think I'm just going to do that whole thing. And then we will be done with the cards, guys. We'll have all these bases to play with. Aren't you excited? I'm excited. Just making sure I got the corners pretty well. All right, let's flip this bad boy over. All right, get all these mushrooms all nice and pretty. Look at that. Oof. Oh, that is so cool. And none of this will be wasted because we're going to use all of it. Not necessarily on this particular card but we will use it at a later date. So don't fret my scrappy lovers. We'll use it. All right. Okay. So I will continue to cut these out, not right this second. I'm going to do that off camera because we got about 10 minutes and I want to start doing something on that journal because it's got to get done. Oh my goodness gracious, gracious, gracious me. All right, let's set those aside and we'll get all those cards. Oh my gosh. So in the next video, we will have all of these cards cut out and then you can see the pretties like these are already cut out but these are the only ones of the small ones that are cut out I still haven't cut out the other ones yet that we did um, yesterday but let's grab this bad boy figure out what we're going to do with her him it all right so here's our papers that we're working with and let's see. So we do need to make ginormous cards to go in here. So we could probably use some of those big ones that we just made for here. We would just have to decorate a couple of them. And then this one needs something on it. But let's glue this page down. All right, so this, I think all of these have been inked. Yeah, these have all been inked. Oh, I think my husband's home. Oh, he is. Woohoo. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know if I was using a glue stick or I don't remember what glue. That's how long it's been since I've worked on this thing. I think we're just going to glow stick it. It's a lot of glue stick, though. You know, I think I'm going to tape it. And we'll use, we'll just use the tape on the background pages. And I'll show you guys how very quick and effective that tape can be. Now it's double-sided tape. You can use whatever kind you want. I get my tape at um, the Tape Depot. I have not bought in a very long time because I haven't really used tape in a long time. But as you will soon find out, it is very effective. And the great thing about the tape is it doesn't warp your pages at all. So that part is amazing. All right, and now this part here, let's glue that down. So 
Excuse you. Stay. Okay. Just like that. And then this is going to go over here. And then we're going to glue, I think, yeah, we're going to glue that like that. So, let's do this. Actually, let's just do the whole thing. Because it's already folded where we need it to be. So, we'll just go ahead and type the whole shebang. And you can also... this. This particular gun is um, from the Tape Depot, but I do have one that is Scotch, because um, I believe that's who made it originally. Um, you are crooked. How about we do it this way? There we go. that just like so and then we'll glue that right here so I'll use Fabri-Tac on that because I really like Fabri-Tac for paper to paper as long as it's not like a super large surface then I think Fabri-Tac is a good a good uh, mer <laughs> I'm waiting for it to come down to the bottom I think Fabri-Tac is a good option. And I say that as long as it's not a super large surface, because even in a large surface, I think Fabri-Tac is a great option. But I say it like that because it is not necessarily the most cost effective option. So, it's gonna close the book and push it down. That way it lines up with the previous page. Because this is an altered book. So it's made just a little bit different than a uh, junk journal. Oddly enough, this is actually my very first altered book. But I have enjoyed making it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and finish this other page. And then that will be time and we will continue to play with this tomorrow. But tomorrow we're gonna actually start with the journal so we can actually get it done and it's not gonna be finished tomorrow, there's no way. I mean, I work pretty quick, but not that quick. Okay. All right, and now this one is going to go right about there, okay, like so. All right, and this one, and it does help a lot that a lot of my papers are, um, they're already printed, they're already cut out, they're already inked. Like I said, I've been working on this project for a minute. And my daughter's telling me that dad's home, which I knew that because he took my car and my car is not exactly quiet. Oops, something just happened to my computer. Oh, okay. Well, that was weird. My, uh, my web browser, I use Chrome, it just like dropped down, it minimized itself and then it brought itself back up, which was very strange, but okay. All right, um, let's see. All right, 
Oh, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to tape that part. Alright, we're just going to glue this because I don't want it to stick to that and not be even. So. And Fabri-Tac will not warp your paper, so... I like a, like a little dotted line right there. <laughs> I needed to kind of connect the dots. Alright, so we're going to close this up. We're going to do the same thing, but the opposite direction. Okay. And now, they need to dry, but now we have two more pages done. We just need to put stuff inside and maybe decorate the pages a little bit. That's it. Now we'll have a little bit of decorating to do still because I was decorating each page as we went or as I went um, and then I kind of stopped decorating each page as we went or as I went and um, just started putting the pages together so we could decorate it afterwards. But I'm going to go ahead and close this and repin this because this paper goes on that side and then that's going to dry and I will go ahead and call this video done and thank you guys so much for joining me on finishing up my cards and starting the work on my the completion of my journal um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.